Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. So, how do you fill a mud box? What is a mud box? Well, that's one of these things, if you've ever seen it. So, electricians and, you know, other sparky type guys put these in the wall when they have more to fit in than can be fit in just a standard size box. So this box is double wide, but the cover is small. And so we'll take a closer look so you guys can get a better idea of that. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than double this thing, but there's a lot of stuff in here that's all jammed back in there. And that's why it has to have the extra big box, but these covers are pretty small. So now it's got this shape on it that's specially designed to uh, help the mud hold on to it. So we gotta fill all this in, tape it, and then make it pretty. The first thing I wanna do here is clean up these edges a little bit. Mud sticks to a nice clean edge a lot better than it sticks to those ragged edges. Now I'm gonna leave this one because it's tight and it's fine. I'll cut right here, but this is totally fine. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be interesting because um, this water I have here is piping hot and I gotta mix up some 20 minute because um, the hookups for the washer, only the hot one was connected. So now I gotta use hot water to mix up my 20 minute and that's gonna accelerate it a lot, which is actually good because now I won't have to be waiting, but hopefully it's not so quick I can't even get it out of the pan. And I wanna mix this stuff up really thick. I don't want it slumping. All right, let's get this mixed up. Basically, just fill it till it's super full. It's got to be going right up to the edge of that and be totally full. You can see how it's drooping out? Still a little bit too wet. That's okay. We'll scrape it down once it sets up. Obviously you wanna try not to get much mud into the actual box. Happy with that. Now we'll wait for that to set up. Okay, so usually this stuff sets really fast. But it's been about 40 minutes and it's not setting up, so it must just be this mud. So I've just put a little bit of water on this to keep it workable. I'm just flattening it all out because I got to get moving. It's almost set. The water was just to stop it from cracking. Okay, I can live with that. So as much as I would love to do this without tape, it's gonna crack out and fall out over time if I don't have tape on it. So I've got three pieces of tape here. I'm just gonna put some mud on each one, about an eighth of an inch of mud. This is all purpose mud and it's not too thin. Sort of just the way it would come out of a bucket. So now I've got my pieces of tape here. Okay, first we're gonna do this little piece up here. Yes, it does need a little piece right here. And I'm not covering that hole because I'll need to put a screw in that later. Another one here, right? 
up to the edge right there. Right about there. I'm even gonna tilt it a little bit so that it covers a bit more there. Now I'll put that third piece, again, right up to the edge. Whoop, bit of mud in there. And now I have the fun job of coating around this thing. So again, I'm just gonna kind of stuff that right there. That seems to be just right. I can coat all of it with it there. You guys can't see well, but I can still coat it. And because we pre-filled with the quick set, everything's firm underneath, and we can actually cover this tape right away. It's not gonna be a problem. And this is also in a garage, and it's not even gonna get painted. So I might, if I can get the mud smooth enough, be able to just do one coat on this, sand it, and call it done. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. This is just fire taping is what this was for an inspection. There's hair in it. Feather my edge. Feather my edge. Feather the top. And just a few passes so that it sands out nice. Yeah. I don't know what that is in the mud. Come on. This is awkward. Okay, I can live with that. This can all be sanded out nice and smooth. So yeah, once this patch dries, I'll sand it, pop that back on, it'll be good to go. If this was in a well-lit area or basically anywhere that wasn't a garage, I would actually be doing a second coat on this, but this is more than adequate. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see the rest of the wall behind me. This is definitely good enough, but that is how you fill and coat a mud box. Now you know what a mud box is and what to do with it. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you guys found this video useful. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching all the videos. Till the next one, you guys.